toothbrush can make anyone feel young again. And the latest show at Fort Gordon Dinner Theater proves it is never too late to find romance. Steve Walpert is here with us now to tell us more about this show, The Last Romance. And Steve was telling me that, you know, this is what happens when a widower, who, who is our guy Ralph, yes. takes a, a different path on his walk one day, huh? Right. He, he takes a walk. He goes a different route, and he ends up at this dog, this dog park, and he gazes into the dog park and sees this very attractive lady in her 70s, Yeah. and he gets a crush on her. And so he, he comes back the next day uh, in an attempt to meet her. He puts on his good shirt from Banana Republic, <laughs> and he comes to the dog park, and he's, uh, and he's just standing around there when she shows up, and then he... He pretends to have a dog there. Okay. So he's waving to his dog. <laughs> you know, hey Rex, good boy Rex, jump up and down. And, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and so at first she's kind of resistant to his comments because he's coming on a little strong, even for an 80-year-old guy. But eventually uh, she lets him in a little bit, and then they develop a friendship, and the friendship blooms to romance. And along the way, there are a lot of there's some twists and turns. You find out different things about both of them. But it really is a charming story. I love this story. Right. You know, we were talking, I was talking to you earlier about, you know, when my, when my grandfather was uh, younger than I am, mm -hmm. you know, after dinner at night, he would, like, sit back in his chair and put a cigar in his mouth, and we would just be making sure the ash didn't uh, <laughs> the the burn fire didn't get started. shirt after he fell asleep. <laughs> yeah. But now people are much more vital at an older age. And, Absolutely. I, I see it with my own mother, who's 85. Right. And I, I hope that I am as spry as she is and as engaged, you know, oh, yeah. constantly going to little theater, going to the... the um, the operas on Saturdays, you know, the theaters that show the Metropolitan Opera. She's yeah. constantly doing things. That's great. And yeah. and you you realize age is just a number, you know, age is, is a number. And and I see with her, she still has feelings. She recently lost someone who had been, you know, her companion for about mm -hmm. eight years. Yeah. And um, it was it was like when my dad died many years ago. Those feelings, and I guess that gives us hope as we age that we continue to have emotions. Yeah. And you know, younger people oftentimes don't recognize that those emotions exist in people who are over 60. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. But, but they do. And uh, you know, they both have this need for companionship. And it's really a, really a charming story. And along the, along the way, her dog goes missing. And Ralph has to go rescue her dog, you know, and so he really wins points so there. He, really I guess. Wins, he wins a lot of points <laughs> there, and it's okay. And then we have got a great cast. Um, uh, Michael Hamilton is in it. Uh, Betty Walpert is in it. Mm -hmm. uh, Kay Gross, who has done more shows at the Dinner Theater than any other uh, actor who's ever performed there, is in it. Uh, wow. We have a, a terrific young man, Vaughn Duncan. There, there are moments where you know the, where you find out that Ralph had auditioned at one time for the Metropolitan Opera when he was much younger. Yeah. And so there's a so Vaughn plays Ralph at a younger age and sings some segments of arias at the, to set up the beginning of scenes, and so oh, that I mean, that's nice. a great mood setting device. Right. And then and then you know what, my cast is hoping that the star of the show doesn't become Peaches, who is Carol's it's, dog, it's who, is, <laughs> who is played by a young puppy from a prominent theatrical family in, <laughs> in, in town, in town uh, who, is, who is very cute, okay, and, and so that all together, and then of course, you know, the food is going to be terrific. The food, and there's a special Valentine's Day menu. There You're is. doing this one on a Wednesday right. for Valentine's. Well, on Valentine's Day, they have a, on the February the 14th, they mm -hmm. have, that's when we open, they have a special plated served meal, mm -hmm. uh, which will be very nice, a very nice way to spend Valentine's Day. Yeah, we have a full screen to show you right now. You can call the number on your screen there, 706-793-8552, or you can make your reservations online. But I did notice, Steve, with that Valentine's dinner, like you said, it was plated. Uh, they have three entrees to when choose make, from. When they make the reservation. Uh, it is Wednesday and then the weekend shows right. and then the following two weekends the 23rd and 24th and then March 2nd and March 3rd right. it's always such a fun time out there oh, at the Fort Gordon you. Dinner yeah. Theater it's, we have a great time doing it for people and I think that shows you know you have such a good following out there too people yeah. who really look forward to those productions you have people that have been coming forever you know who, not forever but who've been coming for over 20 years to the theater out there well, certainly looking forward to seeing this one. It's oh, the last romance, everyone. And so make sure you can, if you didn't write that down, just go to our website, wjbf.com. You'll find it on the Jenny link. Steve Walpert, okay. thanks a lot for your oh, time and break a leg. Conversations that make us laugh. 
help us learn, even make us cry. Join me every week for a look at what women are talking about. It may be the most fun you'll have from hot flashes to hot belly dancing. See you Tuesday at 1230 for Jenny.